better than Kirby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, honestly, I think some Sam games have my bracket. Yeah. It's a beer cozy. <laughs> Alright, covering the tech in place with an air is smart. A lot of people would go for the up air just hoping for the um, no tech. Yeah. But it's smart covering both options, hitting the nair with no tech and uh, keeping it out long enough to get him if he did tech, which he did. Interesting up angle after going straight. That's a little kind of wonky. Hmm. A lot of Pikas, like, they don't like to throw out tilts to stuff out Samus, but honestly, I think it's a very good strategy. Against the Samus, it's like double jumping back to ledge. You can just, like, F tilt, and if it misses, then just, like, don't challenge, because there's nothing you can do at that point. But if they jump too close, they'll play the F, F tilt with little to no consequence for the Pika. It's probably yeah. one of the safest options. Meanwhile, F smash is too laggy, so if um, Soto grabs ledge, he can do a ledge shot fair. Or ledge shot charge shot, since he has it. There it is. Nice F throw. Yeah. Good job waiting out the fair. Oh, F smash. Yeah, yeah right there. If he doesn't right have the there. double jump, it's free. Yeah. Soto tried to move out of the range, but it wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to charge shot the other way so you can back air after that instead of uh, charge shot that way. I think that's what he wanted to do. Or he probably wanted like catch jump or something. Maybe. Alright, looks like Soto's trying to stay in the corner and have Smurf do a panic option. It looks like he's very comfortable in the corner in this matchup. Yeah, Samus is easy, easily able to recover from yeah. off stage. Like, there's not too much nice. danger in it. Good back air. Overshoots the back air, knowing Smurf's going to try to retreat to the side flat. Good presence of mind there. The up is onto the plat. Probably a mistake. Oh my god! Wow. It claimed. That's insane. Forward smash eats away the yeah. charge shot. Sam's a trash, dude. <laughs> charge shot gets beat by Pika F smash. It's dumb. It didn't even cling. It just went through it. Yeah. Up he's top yes. nice, nice job following. Knowing he's gonna land on the side fly when he tried to trick him up going to the top fly. Smurf's off stage, Soto gets the back air. Smurf down to his last stock versus Soto, game one. He's gotten a few blessings this match. If he doesn't make the most of it this match, he might not get this close again. He's gotta make this game count. And as I say that, he's getting a nice combo on Soto, getting me across the stage. Comes from above with a down air. Good option there. Sam doesn't have the two good of options to defend herself from the top besides up B. Well, and that's a very risky option. Oh no, he didn't know that he didn't have the jump. Yeah. Alright, now it's gone. There we go. Last stock, 31%. That's not too bad. But it is in the realm of down air combo, so he's got to watch for that. Oh, I thought he was going to sneak under an up smash right there. Alright, gets hit by the down air. Up till, hitting him out of the down air. Good job by Smurf. Outranging him with an up air. Full off up air, fair. Gets dash attack, no tech. Uh, Soto expects right the there. tech away or the tech in place, but he just did no tech. The tech error is saving his life. Yeah, sometimes oh. no tech is good. Down air getting beat by the back air. Back air has a deceptively large hitbox, even reaching ahead of him a good amount. Oh no, good shark. Can he make it back? No, I don't think he can. Oh, that's a shame. Brings it really close. No, no way Soto will be dropping an edge guard like that. Soto's gonna stay Samus. He has too much of a ride to switch off. Yeah. And if he does switch off, he's gonna get rolled, I'm calling it. <laughs> Man, Soto's losing a lot of his confidence. He, he, he should know that he's one of the best people here. Like, yeah, he is one of them. I'm definitely a big fan of the theory that Soto just thinks he's trash so he doesn't do good. But if he, he was cocky, then I think he'd be better than Hiropai. Yeah. Yeah his, yeah, his games with Hero Pie are pretty close. Like, arguably, he could be second seed easily. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. But honestly, uh, for a second seed below Hero Pie, I would put DFX. DFX, then Bard, then Soto. Because Bard's been performing more consistently. Yeah. Especially if this is what we're seeing from Soto with Samus the entire time. If we see him bring out the Kirby, then, yeah, second seed all the way. Sets up the bomb trap, trying to challenge him going for the upper on the plat. 
Oh, oh sneaks in a down air. Down nice. Good, Good stuff by Soto. Oh, uh, runs away from the fair, but doesn't do anything to punish it. Craps a dash attack or a grab even. Wait, lets him get back. Soto's going to the top platform a lot, trying to bait Smurf's up airs, and it's usually working, because Smurf tries to up air him. You muted it. You, you muted your mic. I did? Uh, there you go. Oh no, this. Oh, put it closer to him. Put it closer to him. Yeah, take up a lot of echoes. Okay. It's because the mic, this mic is on, so we don't have to share the mic. Yeah, so does while we're this. Or you can do it really good. Yeah. All right. So going back into it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. All right, double fair. Shield drop down air, reverse back air. Nice combo by Soto. It's nice. But he had less time doing it from normal because he didn't down air straight onto the platform. He down it off the side. Uh, the mustache. Double F smash at ledge. Oh no. I love that trap though. I love when they get trapped by that and you have enough time to run over there and punish their shield with a grab or either an F smash or throw a low percent, um, shield uh, percent. Yeah, I wasn't a full charge shot, so I didn't get all the shield stun or the black or the um, knockback. Swift's trying to find a back throw right now. You can see him going for a lot of dash back grabs. Oh, up tilt back here. That's gonna send him off stage. Should be an easy edge guard. I don't, oh, no jump. Yeah, he thought he had the jump. Accepted it pretty early. A lot of people panic up B after finding out they don't have the jump. But he's accepted his fate. Oh, back throw. Roll backwards. That's the that's the look he did. Roll backwards after throw. Oh, reverse back here again. So there's a fan of that for sure. Oh, no, run off up there. All right. He's going to try to sneak in a down air, I'm guessing. Oh, F smash doesn't quite connect. Crouch cancels the fair and then gets a down tilt. Misses the down air. This is very tight. F smash beating charge shot again. No jump. Grab ledge. F smash. There it is. Smurf getting a game off Soto. Nice. Well done. Good stuff from Smurf. Yeah, game three. Placement pools. I don't know how Smurf did versus Yoleo. Do you know who won? I think Smurf won. I want to say Smurf Yeah, I want to say Smurf won too. Smurf's pretty good versus Kirby. Oh, and the Shoto Puff. Arguably an even worse matchup. Ooh, gets right out of that fair range. Goes for the dash back grab. Oh, waits it out and just up tilts him. Yeah, he didn't want to mess up. Smurf wants to play absolutely safe because he knows if he just gets more neutral wins than Soto, which is pretty easy in this matchup, he can just win as long as he plays safe enough and doesn't SD or go for any dumb options. That's all, that's all people can get there after that. So. Yeah, that's all you can go for. Alright. Yeah, he's not going to be able to punish. He's below the plat. Oh my god, he could have just stayed in shield or he could have just rolled. Yeah, shield jump is definitely not the best option there. What? What the heck? No DI on the drill. What is this? Smurf's trash. Oh, up tilt F smash. Yeah, he's too far away at that point. It was too risky. He could have up beat out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it like this. Soda's got to play pretty safe too. This is his uh, like bracket stock for his uh, pools. He could end up in D2 if he loses this. While Smurf can be a shoe in for D1. Yeah, but Soto most likely will be able Yeah. But I believe in Smurf. Smurf is definitely has some good wins on him. He has some good tricks up his sleeve. He's back airing way too soon. He's gotta be back airing later and retreating. 
He's retreating during the back high back air. Oh, there it is. Back throw can kill. All right. Smurfs ahead of Soto, but this stock isn't much of a lead because if Soto gets one grab, a back throw will end him from any part of the stage. Yeah, there it is. As I say that. Now Smurfs got to utilize his invincibility super well in this matchup, but Soto's good at hiding under the flat there. Smurf doesn't want to challenge it. Doesn't want to get cheesed. Good job getting the top flat. Knowledge that Puff has trouble getting that high. Sorry? I don't know why Puff is not behind It's because he's not used to this matchup, I'm guessing. He's not used to comboing Puff. He's used to outplaying them in neutral, but he never plays Puffs with this good of DI. You see him getting out of first hit of fair right there. He didn't even take any other hits, even though he started inside of him. He's DI'd out on the first hit. It's those kinds of nuances that will throw you off when you're not used to it. So if Smurf hasn't played a Puff with good DI in the past, then it's definitely tough. Because Janner, he doesn't even DI half the time. No, less than half the time. He rarely DI's. The only DI's if his life actually depends on it. Like, I'm not talking about like his stock, but his set. Back throw, getting, catching him up. Smurf trying to edge cancel off the plat, but to no avail. Down a stock, this could be Smurf's last chance. He really wants to get straight to T1. He wants to get a good wind under a good win under his belt. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, good stuff to 